This is the LG G6. And it's been my phone for about a year and a half. I got this mid-2017. And it's been a good phone. And I've enjoyed using it. And I've had no problems with it. Except for the battery. And the battery started draining uh, after a very suspicious update. Where it, it started draining like three times a day. Like I had to charge it three times a day in order uh, to keep use out of it. It was terrible and it was very sudden. There was like a slight decline and then <clears throat> and uh, I was wondering whether it was the update I got from my service provider that did that because that would be a really sneaky cheeky move, you know, make an update that tanks the battery life and frustrates everyone with a non-removable battery and then they go out and get a new phone and spend $900 well, I wasn't about to do that, so I looked into it to see uh, what had to be done in order to replace the battery. Now, this would be uh, very telling because if I replaced the battery and everything worked out perfectly, then hooray, it was just the battery and it needed to be replaced. However, if I put a new battery in and the battery life was still terrible, that means that we were getting cheated because I know this has happened to a lot of people. So I went on Amazon, picked out a battery that was compatible with my phone, ordered it, and Made sure to order the uh, special 3M, uh, I think two millimeter, two millimeter red tape, something like that. It's like a double-sided red sealing tape that's made for electronics with IP68 ratings. Because uh, once I removed the back of the phone, uh, according to my research, the, it would rip the seal out. And then once I put everything back together again, there would be no more seal and I would not be uh, water resistant anymore. So. Didn't want any of that, so I ordered some of the tape. So once everything came in the mail, I opened it up and uh, the battery was really overpacked. They gave me this huge box uh, for a tiny little thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, what a waste. Uh, I don't know why they overpacked it like this, but it was safe. So to pry off the back, this was the tricky part. Uh, it is a glass back and uh, if you do it wrong, you could just inevitably break the whole backing because uh, it's on there pretty tight so take a hair dryer or a heat gun if you have it if you don't have one take a hair dryer and heat up the back which will uh, release and loosen some of the glue that is on that tape once it's sufficiently heated and evenly heated take a razor or something very very thin and pry in between the edges there and then gently lift up around the corners and then take a uh, little plastic squeegee. If, if you're ordering a battery or anything like that, any kind of kit like that, they're likely going to send one with it. But you can see it's, you could use a guitar pick or anything super thin like that. They gave me these plastic uh, squeegee things that work just fine. So once you very carefully, now I might, I remind you, very carefully remove the back. Then uh, you are greeted with a bunch of screws that you have to meticulously unscrew. And don't lose them because you're gonna need all of those back. So obviously you need a very tiny mechanical screwdriver to do this. You can get those kits uh, almost any hardware store, but it's not gonna be your typical Phillips. It's gonna be a very small Phillips. There's a, probably an actual size that I should mention, but any screwdriver that comes at this size is probably coming in a kit and we'll have the well, proper fitted one in there for you. I swear I'm helpful. Now, that once you've removed uh, some of the protective barriers here, you're gonna see that there is a tab that you can pull the battery out with. Uh, you're gonna have to apply some force because that's, that's pretty stuck in there, but be careful when applying that force. Uh, then there's going to be a ribbon cable that's connected to the battery. Be very careful in removing that. And undo everything you just did. That's right. Put it all back and screw back in. Now the tricky part, after it's all screwed back in, is uh, the tape. You're going to very carefully put that down. Make sure there's no gaps in between any of the spaces of that tape. Uh, use some very fine tweezers like I'm using here to um, place that back in and you're going to want to make sure it's surrounding all that uh, ridge that's in there. Once you've covered all the bases and everything's secure in there, you can 
just uh, squeeze back that glass case again. Make sure you only have to do it once. So line it up perfectly. So if you have to uh, lift it up again, you risk breaking the glass backing and uh, having to redo all that tape again, which is a pain. You don't want to do that. And that's it. You're done. New battery, pa power it on, check and see if it works. And mine did. And here we are in the future. I have a phone that works and uh, it's been about a month since I recorded the repair. So I've been leading you on. So <laughs> actually for this past month, it's been working perfectly. Uh, the battery is like brand new, uh, just the way it was the, since the first day I got it. The phone's been working perfectly and uh, yeah. I guess the battery just can go suddenly and horribly. So if you replace the battery, you have basically a new phone again. Now this is important because phone manufacturers really just don't want you repairing your phones. They don't really give you uh, clear instructions on how to do that. You have to do everything third party like that. And thankfully for most manufacturers that uh, create Android devices, they allow you to. It's not like they're really trying to prevent you. Apple does. Apple actually makes it so that if you put a new battery in, it will refuse to work because they just hate you. They hate you. They, they, they know you love them, but they hate you. This video is mostly for Android because it's open-ended and they let you do things. There's been a lot of conflict in court cases on this issue. It's generally viewed you should be able to repair your own phone because you bought it and some manufacturers Apple, feel like you shouldn't be able to repair your phone, which is just downright evil, but it's a kind of common thing and whatever. But anyway, if you don't have the same phone as me, that's all right. Uh, most procedures are fairly simple, especially with the non-removable ones. I mean, if it was removable, it'd be as simple as pulling off the back and slapping a new one in. But uh, most of the phones that have uh, water resistance, IP68, IP67, have something similar like this. So this is a general guideline on how to repair this type of phone. So uh, no matter what kind you have, this should, this should help you. And I hope it did. If it did, let me know. And until the next video, I'll see you next time.